Okay, so we got the token awakening details for four older heroes units, and honestly, they're looking kind of crazy. I mean, they might be close to on par with the uh, new heroes units for this year. You know, the Limit Breaker, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta, and the Super Hearts. I don't think they're quite as good, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So. Without further ado, let's check out the awakening details for the Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Robelu, and also Brainwashed Supreme Kai of Time. So, starting here with the Super Saiyan 4 Bardock first, uh, his leader skill is going to be Crossover, Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, passive attack and defense plus 200%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when there are another two or more crossover category allies on the team, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when HP is 50% or more. So that's 400% attack and defense right there. Attacks effective against all types when HP is 70% or more, performs a critical hit when HP is 90% or more. Medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks when there's another giant ape power category ally attacking in the same turn so yeah he's basically getting 400 percent attack and defense he's getting attacks effective against all types and then guaranteed crits above 90 percent hp and also with a 30 percent chance to dodge um you know nothing like super unique in the passive by any means but it's just a lot of buffs and he's going to be hitting pretty damn hard he should be getting a good amount of defense he's looking really really powerful guys so I'm loving this Bardock. Uh, he looks amazing. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Roar, First Awakened, and Shattering the Limit. Categories are Crossover, Dragon Ball Heroes, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, Time Travelers, Goku's Family, Giant 8 Power, Storied Figures, Our Beyond Super Saiyan, and Bond of Parent and Child. And his Super Attack uh, raises attack and events for one turn, causes immense damage, and seals Super Attack as well. So next up we have the Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, and his leader skill is uh, Giant 8 Power, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, that's my dog barking in the background, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, Giant 8 Power, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, and his passive is Attack and Defense plus 200%, reduces damage received by 50%. When there are another two or more giant ape power category allies on the team, plus an additional defense plus 50% and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 100% when there's another crossover category ally attacking in the same turn. So the main highlight here is uh, definitely the 50% damage reduction. He's gonna be a very, very good tank. And on top of that, he's getting, you know, solid attack. Um, actually, more than solid, I think he will hit quite hard, but his defense is really going to be uh, where he shines the most. And, uh, you know, it's not like a hard condition to meet. You only need two or more other Giant 8 power category allies on the team. So if you're running a Giant 8 power team, you're good to go, right? So, uh, yeah, that is the Gohan passive. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighter, Saiyan Lineage. Prepare for battle, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Crossover, Dragon Ball Heroes, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Giant 8 Power, Time Traveler, Siblings Bond, Defenders of Justice, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Bond of Parent and Child. And his Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and also massively lowers defense. Now, next up, we have the Robelu. And her leader skill is Dragon Ball Heroes Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. And this passive is uh, a little on the long side. Attack and Defense plus 100% plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 100% when attacking. Plus an additional Attack plus 200% when the target enemy's super attack is sealed. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, that's a 50% chance, plus an additional defense plus 10% and recovers 5% HP per rainbow key sphere obtained. So, 
she's getting up to in theory an additional 50 percent defense because you can get a max of five rainbow key spheres per turn right or sorry per uh per unit so it's uh, up to 50 percent defense and up to 25 percent healing which is actually really really good especially if you can if you can consistently get like three two to three maybe four uh rainbow key spheres every turn that's a lot of healing you're getting every single time she's on rotation and uh also a great chance of foreseeing enemy super attacks when there is another drag Maw heroes category ally attacking in the same turn now as you guys know i love enemies or sorry uh, i love units that can foresee enemy super attacks that can you know tell you where the super attacks are coming from I still don't love the fact that it's RNG based, right? I still don't love the fact that sometimes you have her on rotation and this doesn't proc and there's a super attack coming and you don't know. You just assume that maybe, you know, she would tell you where the super attack is. So there's still that 30% chance it doesn't happen. But I mean, great chance 70% is still going to be more reliable than not, I guess. So uh, yeah, I do like that. And overall, just... Uh, a lot of attack, uh, I love the rainbow orb changing, I love the the healing with the rainbow orbs, and Rubellu also looks very, very strong, just like the other two, right? So, there's the passive, uh, links are Battlefield Diva, Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Solid Support, Loyalty, Master of Magic, and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Dragon Ball Heroes, Time Travelers, Crossover, and Peppy Gels. And our super attack? Uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. And last but not least, we have the brainwashed Supreme Kai of Time. And uh, she might have the craziest passive actually out of all four, but we'll get to that in a second. Leader skill is crossover category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%, and passive is rare chance of stunning all enemies. Key plus two, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 100% when the target enemy is in attack down status, plus an additional attack plus 100% when the target enemy is in defense down status, plus an additional attack plus 100% when the target enemy super attack is sealed, plus an additional attack plus 100% when the target enemy <laughs> is stunned, seals the attack enemy super attack for two turns and medium chance of stunning all enemies when there is another crossover category ally attacking in the same turn. So let's just do some quick maths here. We got 100%, uh, 200%, 300%, uh, 400%, 500%, 600%. So in theory, if you afflict the enemy with all of these status ailments, I guess, status conditions, um, she can get up to 600% attack, and uh, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I mean, if you're running a Dragon Ball Heroes team, there's a lot of units there that can debuff the enemy, right? L lower attack, lower defense, stun, uh, seal, and uh, she herself can stun and seal too. So, I mean, it's not going to be that common where you have like all these things going at once, but you're going to have at least like maybe two out of the four extra conditions to get extra attack so most of the time she should get like 400 percent attack and then if you have additional you know uh, status effects going then it can be 500 percent 600 percent the point is she should hit really hard she should hit really hard so i'm interested to see exactly um you know what her attack stats will look like once you have all these conditions going once her full passive is activated should be interesting for sure and uh, I think defensively, she's going to be lacking. Yeah, I mean, she's only getting the 100% attack and defense and then the additional 100% when super attacking. So defensively, yeah, maybe a liability, but offensively, she should be a beast. So that is the Supreme Kai of Time. Uh, Links are Master of Magic, Telekinesis, Godly Power, More Than Meets the Eye, Demonic Power, and Battlefield Diva. And sorry, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Dragon Ball Heroes, Realm of Gods, Patara, Time Travelers, Crossover, and Corroded Body and mind and her super attack raises sorry massively raises defense for one turn that helps with the defense for sure causes supreme damage and greatly lowers attack 
and defense. Oh my god, she does all of them. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize her super attack actually lowered attack and defense too. So basically, she can afflict all of the conditions, or satisfy all the conditions herself to allow her to get the full passive. It's just, of course, if the enemy can be debuffed or not. Some events don't allow that, right? So um, it's more likely on like Super Battle Road where you can get all of these things going. But nonetheless, um, yo, she's she's kind of a monster. Yeah, the Supreme Cap time, kind of a monster. So those are the four Awakenings uh, that we got the details for. Um, I don't think there's more as far as Token Awakenings go, but there will be definitely more uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for some older Heroes units coming up. So I'll make sure to let you guys know about those. But uh, did the music stop? Hold on. Uh, no, no, it's good. Okay. So anyways, uh, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Robelu, and Brainwash Supreme Kai of Time all getting extremely impressive. Token Awakenings. Uh, let me know in the comments which one is the most impressive to you. For me personally, the most exciting one is Super Saiyan 4 Bardock because he just looks so sick, man. He looks really, really cool. And I love Bardock. And he's a beast. But I'm not really sure if I'm decided on which one is the best. I feel like it might be Gohan just for the damage reduction alone. You know, for the 50% damage reduction. And he's getting a ton of defense too. So like, he should be a defensive juggernaut for sure. But Robelu looks kind of crazy. Uh, or sorry, um, Brainwash Kai of Time. Supreme Kai of Time looks kind of crazy. But her defense, I think, will be the worst out of the four. Um... Robelu looks like she's a very good utility unit who can also deal damage, but the healing and the orb changing and all that stuff looks great. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But which one do you think is the best? Let me know in the comments. I think they're all amazing. That's for sure. And uh, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.